FX Nation, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video guys. And in this week's video guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about how can we confirm entries when we're trading the Forex market. All right, so we're going to break that down here for you. We're going to take a look at a couple different examples. How can we confirm these entries so that way you can get the best trade possible. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and uh, get right into it here. So when we talk about confirming entries, we're talking about essentially being patient and just waiting for the right setup to trade. OK, if you are new to the channel and you don't quite know how we trade, just go to our playlist trading with market makers and you can see exactly what we do. Um, on this channel and how we trade all right um, but essentially what we want to do to confirm entry guys is we want to make sure we have as many forms of essential confirmation that we can get uh, when we're looking for this okay um, for us you know obviously it starts out with the pattern and, and the timing of when it happens all right so what we've done is we've developed uh, some indicators that are very specific for trading view that you can use. Um, so huge shout out, first of all, to Mr. Rob Minty. He's the one that actually helped me create these. He coded all the stuff. So huge shout out to him. Uh, without him, this would not be possible. So um, if you go to indicators on trading view or you do the search for FXN, you'll see these three indicators. You can go ahead and put them in uh, into your charts if you like. All right. Um, and essentially this is what it will look like. All right. So this basically breaks down the Asian box here for us. It shows the top, bottom and middle. So we know whether we're looking for a type one, type two, type three setup. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go to the playlist trading with market makers that's in our channel um, and go ahead and run through that entire playlist. You'll see exactly what we're talking about and how we trade. But let's play this out here today, guys. This is literally what happened uh, this morning. All right. So I have a, a lot of examples from this morning. So that way, you know exactly what you should be looking for. All right. You need to essentially make trading a very black and white. It's either yes or no, either it's there or it's not there. All right. And then the biggest problem that I see with retail traders is you guys are damn thirsty to fucking make some money. Of course, we're here to make money, but you have to make money the right way. Okay, and, and, and trading off of, you know, off of the uh, right out of the Asian box here, like that's not the way to make the actual money that you're looking for. All right, the trade setups that we're looking for happen at a very specific time. All right, so let's just take a look at this example so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so as we start playing this, essentially, you can see price moves outside uh, of the box from the middle of the Asian range, right? So right off the bat there, we're not, this is not something that we trade. All right, we have to see that price moves away from here uh, first. So as this starts to move, you can see essentially that we're looking essentially for a type one setup because price has already moved uh, well above the actual range, right? So as we play this out here, guys, what is it that we're looking for? What's going to give you the best possible entry that you can get with the highest possible percentage of you getting the, the trade correctly? Okay. The only trade here that you could possibly get that's going to pay out uh, on a very high percentage every time that you take it is going to be a, you know, whatever, either a type one, type two or type three setup that has a second leg, second leg of a double top or, or an M formation or a W formation, all right, with a crossover of a 5 and 13, okay, that's it, that's the only one that you're looking for, right, because you're looking for a very specific setup, all right, it's not going to present itself every day, 
And so you as a retail trader have to be okay with the fact that you're not going to get trades every day. Okay? If you're trading the way that we teach our traders how to how to trade in our mentorship group, you're taking four to six trades a week sometimes, not even that. But the trades that you get have a very high percentage in winning for a reason. Okay, because we only want the really good trades. So here's an example of, of one that uh, some of our members caught this morning. So here's the euro dollar here. We're moving. Uh, we're in this box here. This box is basically our trading zone for London. Okay. Uh, so what I'm waiting for is basically to get a second leg uh, M formation here with a crossover 5 and 13. If I don't get that setup within that box, then I'm not trading it. Okay. So, so far we only have one leg. All right. So as we keep playing here. Yes, there's a crossover that happens here, but that's only the first leg. We want a second leg. All right? So look what happens. And then now we start entering the U.S. session. Look what happens here. All right? We have essentially a second leg starting to build out. Okay? Our high from the first leg is held. It's not going anywhere, right? And then we have our crossover. Okay. That's your entry. That's your entry, guys. That's your entry. Look. That was your entry. So the trade setup was this. This was the trade setup. Okay, two to one risk reward ratio on that trade. But the important thing is second leg, second leg with the crossover. Crossover happens right here inside of the box. Okay, see this crossover here happened right outside of the box. I said that you want to find trades inside of the box. So this is outside of the box. Guess what? You don't take it very simple so that's the setup that was this morning on euro usd let's take a look at another one euro swiss again from uh this past london session and into uh the u.s session so same thing look price does damn near an identical move from what was happening um during uh the u.s uh the euro usd okay so now the question becomes a lot of people may say here you know this here's your setup right here right and if you're thinking that that's fine if you're thinking that but where does the crossover the 5 and 13 happen does it happen in the box no it doesn't right so you're not taking that trade okay you're not taking that trade you wait for this crossover to happen. That's inside of the box. That's your trading zone for the U.S. session. Okay. And there you go. There's your trade. There's your trade. It's almost the exact same trade. It's almost the exact same trade from your USD. It's just, you know, a little bit different. Right. But the same thing second leg crossover type one setup okay the entry is inside of the box that's it the fact that you're having to wait all the way into the u.s session that's the point okay patience you have patience essentially to wait for a second leg to show up and you know what sometimes the second leg isn't going to show up and you're just going to miss the trade and that's okay because that's not the trade that you're looking for. You're looking for essentially MW pattern second leg with a 5 and 13 crossover. You cannot, I can't make it any simpler than that. Okay. You're looking for the trade to happen inside of the box. If it doesn't happen inside the box, then you don't take it. You're wondering why it takes you so long 
to to get this kind of trading down is because you're not being patient essentially thirsty as hell to get into the market for trading okay it's like two o'clock and you're already like foaming at the mouth to get into the market for a trade why why do you have a fear of missing out on a trade there's there should be no fear of missing out on a trade you're gonna have freaking the markets open you know the market's gonna be open every freaking day except for saturday and half a sunday so what's the big hurry to give your money to some greedy brokers so this is euro jpy same thing yesterday uh this morning and you know london session so as it starts to play out you see there people might think right here so here you might think here's an m formation with the crossover what's wrong with that one is it inside of the box yes or no it's not so you don't take that trade do you see the setup now do you see the setup like hello four, four to one risk to reward ratio on that that's crazy the highest quality trades are going to come in when you just take the second leg M or W with a crossover. Here's pound JPY. We play it. Look, some of you might take this trade right here. Some of you might take this because it's a star pattern, right? Some of you might take it. If you take that, you're going to lose. Here's a, uh, what my people might say, uh, type 2 setup right here, right? Like this. Where's the crossover happening? It's outside of the box, right? So you don't take it. You just wait and see if it shows you a second leg. There it is. Opening of the U.S. session. What do you get? Literally, 9 o'clock. There's a crossover. Second leg. At the high of Asia. Not close to the high. But actually at the high of Asia. Okay. And you already know what happens from here. It's easy 50 pips. 5 to 1 risk reward ratio. All you got to do is wait. You get paid to wait. Literally, you get paid to wait. You get paid to, pe to be patient and wait. That's it. That's all you get paid for. Is to be patient and wait. For this to present itself. If it doesn't present itself, then you don't trade it. Stop being thirsty to get into a trade because you just want to get into a trade. That's not how it's going to work. And that's not going to be, uh, it's not going to make you successful at all. There's no reason to rush this. Here's Pound Swiss. What happens? Some of you might trade something like this right here going up because you think it's a type 3 setup type 3 setups don't start from the middle of the range they have to come up from the top and get stuck in the middle and then go up they don't start like this in the middle of the range so what happens there's your here's your second leg right and there's your crossover okay is it inside of a box yes or no no so do you trade it? No. You wait for the setup to happen inside of the box. I mean, it's just literally that simple.
It's literally that simple. You guys are complicating the hell out of something that is very simple. Second leg that happened in the New York session inside of the box. Pound dollar. Some of you may have take may have taken this as a sell. Right? May have taken this as a sell. You saw this coming up to the two hundred, right? You saw this as a star pattern possibly, and you just took the trade down. What happens is that it gets stuck in the middle of the range. Look, it gets stuck in the middle of the range. All it's doing is working the middle of the range they're collecting more traders now if you get uh, across over here and you're, you're thinking that it's something like this right is it inside of the box no Look, there's your trade right here. Here's your second leg. The next candle produces a crossover. There's your trade. Over a 2 to 1 risk reward ratio again. 32 pips. If you set your, you know, if you entered all the way down here. I mean, still 15 pip stop loss, two to one risk reward ratio. I mean, you're you're pinning basically to the 200, the first leg and the second leg. So, when you're looking for setups, right? If you're trading the way we trade with trying to identify type one, type two, and type three patterns, okay? Just be patient and just wait for them to show you what they're doing don't just automatically jump in just wait for them to show you what they're doing if the trade setup presents itself second leg M or W type 1 type 2 or type 3 and you have a crossover with a 5 and 13 and it's within the box you have other other things like let's say pinning to the 200 right like this and like this on the second leg what other things do you need so guys have patience all right i understand that you want that you're here to make money i get it everybody's here to make money but stop Thinking about the money. Thinking about the money is not going to get you where you want to get to. What's going to get you to where you want to go is the trade setup plus the consistency of you selecting the correct trade setup will automatically give you the money that you're looking for trade setup consistency equals money so don't focus on the money focus on the trade setup and focus on how consistent can you be at finding those specific trade setups that's it and the outcome the output of that is automatically going to be your money so stop focusing on money stop being thirsty and trying to trade at freaking 530 on a Sunday when the market opens when you have crazy ass high spreads like that doesn't make any sense there's no reason at all for you to try to trade at 530 Sunday when the market opens 
None whatsoever. If you're trading without a trading plan, you're going to fail. It's very simple. Because you're trading without a GPS. You don't know what you're doing. You think your trading plan is in your head. But it's really not. Because you're not going to follow it anyways. So I'm telling you what's going to lead you to getting where you want to go. The trade setup consistency of that is going to equal the money, which is what you want. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, if you like videos like this, let me know by uh, commenting below and liking this video so I know that you like this kind of content so I can keep doing this. All right? Guys, thank you so much and uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Have a good weekend. Guys, one last thing. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate the fact that you take the time to watch my videos. I really hope that I've added value in each of the videos that I make for you guys, and I hope that you're learning something.